Hello everyone. So welcome to another video of the BSAT BMAT 2018 series. And in this video, we'll be solving the sixth problem of the BSAT BMAT 2018 question paper. And which says that you have three real numbers, A greater than equals to B, greater than equals to C, and which are positive. And for all N, natural numbers, there exist triangles of side lengths a to the power n, b to the power n, and c to the power n. And so you have to prove that the triangles, all those triangles are isosceles. So this was another easy problem in the 2018 paper. And since you have been given that this a to the power n, b to the power n, c to the power n, they all form triangles for every natural number n. So you get an idea that there has to be something to do with the limits and also since a is greater than equals to b and b is greater than equals to c so we should be careful about that equality sign if somewhere though that equality sign holds then the triangles will be obviously isosceles so that's why we will assume that a is strictly greater than b and then what we get is that A is also strictly greater than C. So this implies that A is strictly greater than C. And now since this A to the power n, B to the power n, C to the power n, they form the sides of a triangle. So what we can have is that we know the sum of the two sides is greater than the third side. So A to the power n will be lesser than equals to b to the power n plus c to the power n and we have this and we have this now you can easily guess that we will divide by a to the power n so for all n greater than equals to 1 where n is a natural number we have if we divide it by, uh, both the sides by a to the power n we have 1 which is lesser than equals to b over a whole to the power n plus c over a whole to the power n and by our assumption we had b over a which was strictly greater than 0 and as well as strictly lesser than 1 and similarly for c over a which was strictly greater than 0 and strictly lesser than 1 as well. And so, what we have is that if we let our limit n tends to infinity, then b over a whole to the power n will be equals to limit n tends to infinity c over a whole to the power n, and they will both be equals to 0. So since b by a whole to the power n as well as c by a whole to the power n, they are both tending towards zero when n is tending towards infinity. So when n is very, very large, so we get that one is lesser than equals to zero. And which is impossible. And so we have that a has to be equals to b because a cannot be lesser than b and we took that A was strictly greater than B where we got a contradiction. And so this implies that A has to be equals to B. A cannot be lesser than B because by the given condition here. And now since we have A is equals to B, so this implies that A to the power N will be equals to B to the power N for all natural numbers N. And so... What we have is that all those triangles with sides a to the power n, b to the power n, and c to the power n, they have two sides to be equal, that is a to the power n and b to the power n. And so we have proved that all such triangles will be isosceles.